Meanwhile, details continue to come down in Cleveland, Ohio, in the case of three missing girls missing for a decade and found earlier this week. Now DNA evidence has proved the six-year-old girl in the home was the child of Amanda Berry and the kidnapping suspect. All three women are now out of the hospital and recovering with their families. Ariel Castro, the suspect in the case, is charged with rape and kidnapping. Castro remains on suicide watch behind bars. He's held on an $8 million bond. Prosecutors are looking at additional charges. They're considering some that would carry the death penalty. The three women are all hiring lawyers to manage the media attention and potential donations for their recovery. Now that case has happened hundreds of miles away from the Wabash Valley, but it still provides hope to those searching for their loved ones. News 10's Michael Klaus talks with a family who knows those feelings all too well. It would be 11 years, the 24th of this month. It seems like yesterday. I could tell you exactly what we did the day he came up missing. For Dorina Javins, any missing person case hits home. Her son Scott was missing for five years before authorities found his body in a river. To this day, she's still living with questions surrounding his disappearance and death. And that is a mother's worst nightmare, to have your child gone and not know where they're at. Javen sits next to neighborhood friend Ayla Wheeler now. After losing her only son, she shares her love with others in hopes of keeping his memory alive. The family situation is familiar to many. According to the FBI, over 50,000 children go missing every month nationwide. That includes some right here in the Wabash Valley. When those cases come in, they're immediately signed to a, an, an investigator who meets with the family, meets with the neighbors, if they meet with fellow friends, students, teachers, uh, and try to uh, track down in every way possible. Authorities say the best thing that you can do is to report any information that you know of. It doesn't matter how small the piece of evidence is, it can play a key role in a much larger investigation. Small pieces of the puzzle that are put together by investigators that create a large picture and in many cases uh, are solved that way just by putting the puzzle back together. By solving that puzzle, you can fill in the missing pieces for families searching for closure. And in the meantime, cases like the one in Cleveland continue to give families hope for answers. In Terre Haute, Michael Klaus, News 10. If you know any information about a missing persons case, you can call your local authorities or Crime Stoppers. That number is 812-238-STOP.